episode for this DC 100, I watched Toy Story 2, which I consider as my favorite Toy Story movie because it has my favorite animation. And the animation looks really good. It's probably the best one of them all. I like the opening scene about Buzz Lightyear uh, and the video game and going on an adventure. Destroying robots and nearly defeated Zerb but was, but was killed. Which was one of the reasons that made me think of the Buzz Lightyear movie before Lightyear came out. And I also like how it, it, this is the film that introduces Zerg. Jesse and Stinky Pete, because all those three characters are very good. Zerg is a pretty fun parody of Darth Vader. Jesse is a fun character that's that's cool that she is still she she became a part of the film, the franchise, and Stinky Pete was a decent villain. And I thought Woody and Buzz. Are very still great characters. Hanks and Alan still do great as their characters. I really so I really like how these Toy Story movies have different genres. Like the first one is like a buddy movie. Second one is an adventure movie. Third one is like a prison drama film. And Toy Story Four is like an adventure drama film. Yeah, so I like that. I really like the piece of dry car chase scene. As well as the airport where they tried to escape the plane, Jesse and Woody. And the and I really like the the outtakes slash bloopers, which they're very funny, especially one with the Buzz life, uh, and Buzz burping and Woody pulling pranks on Buzz during during the making of Toy Story Two. That's clever. So um and it's really like the other characters like Slinky, Mr. Bodehead, and a little bit of Barbie. And then also Rex, who is, plays a bigger part in this film because he wants to win the Buzz Lightyear game. He kind of does by, by defeating Zerg! And, and when the Utility Bell Buzz is fighting Zerg. I really like Utility Bell Buzz. He's very... Awesome to watch. He's pretty much like, like if the bus from the first movie was like this the entire every time he was on the movie. That was kind of awesome. And um, yeah. So, so I really like the scene where Woody, where not Woody, Bus and Zerk fight, like two of them, like the opening one and the one at the elevator. I, of course, I really like the elevator scene where you two you a bus and your toy is going to a wall. But then Woody, not Woody, bus, let go of the wall and accomplish going to the elevator on the left thing. And so, yeah, so that's my cele Disney Wonder celebration for Toy Story 2. Stay tuned for more. Peace out. Bye. So, so for Halloween 2023 countdown for this year. Next to for day two is Scream 2, sequel to 1996 Scream. And at first, when I watched it in 2022, I, I really liked it a lot. Though I thought it would be, and I thought it was like probably like my third, fourth favorite Scream. But it has grown on me more watching it today. I thought it was probably my favorite one, which is funny because for Disney 100, day two is Toy Story 2, my favorite Toy Story sequel. Toy Story film, and this one, Screen 2, my favorite Screen movie. And I really like this film because I really like the two ghost faces that, because they're different, because they are different. Uh, Mickey wants, is a killer because, so, to make a new sequel that is, to improve that he's the hero and not the villain. And Nessie Loomis is a killer because, as a revenge for 
his son Billy from the first movie, and to make him, her the he, hero instead of Sydney the villain. I really thought Derek was interesting because his he's pretty much like Billy if he was the if he was a good guy all along instead of being boyfriend disguise and the actual killer. And I thought the kills were pretty cool. They were, especially with that one with Sissy and Randy. Um and I thought Nev Campbell and Courtney Connison and Day Rakett Jamie Candy and Leif Schirmer the good job, they still do great performance as Sydney, Gale, Dewey, Randy, and uh, Khan. I really like Khan in this one. It's kind of scary, but he's also kind of heroic. Which is why he's kind of the hero of the film, as said in, as said in the ending of the movie. Um, and I thought... Um, the scene with the stab movie, where at the opening and like the TV scene with at was pretty cool recreations of recreations, not full recreations of the first movie. So it's really cool, and I really so I really doubt the I really like uh. Sydney's and Gail's hairstyle. They it's much pretty cooler and interesting than than the one the first one. And of course there's some sequel commentaries where the body count is bigger and bloodier. Which is true because there's more blood in this one, the first one, especially when with Randy's death. Uh Jenna Pink and Smith death. And Sissy's death. Those are bloody and brutal than the first, than the ones that killed in the first movie. And also, Mickey also it was super bloody. It's mostly because of the amount of blood and how much I just used him and shot in this movie. So, yeah. So, I really thought Screen 2 was probably my favorite Screen movie. It has grown on me more watching it again. And happy Halloween for day two until October 31st. So that's it for this video. Peace out.